Hello guys, welcome back to Switch Technologies. So in this video, let's understand how to perform parallel testing with Selenium in multiple windows or multiple browsers at a time. Okay, so we will see like uh, how to perform the multiple windows at a time parallelly. Okay, but if you want to know or if you want to execute the uh, same script with the multiple device um, devices uh, like a uh, compatibility or uh, with the different environments if you want to perform so that require multiple devices for you instantly so by using the selenium grid that is possible but uh, currently i'm not with uh, multiple devices which are having the different operating systems like mac windows linux so currently i'm executing my script in windows only okay so in windows only how to perform the multiple testing with a different or with multiple windows simultaneously we'll look so for that what we have to do means in testng there is a file like a testng xml file there okay so testng xml is a file there so this sml will help you to create the suit okay this will help you to create the two suit so inside the suit what you have to do means you have to do perform the test so like what up of the test you want to do perform like a retesting or regression testing so that you can do give name so inside the suit how to actually create the xml i'm saying so inside this test you have to give the classes where exactly you have written the test at the rate test those classes you have to mention so this suit will execute the complete project if you want to execute the retesting also you can perform regression is also possible and that partial regression is also possible full regression is also possible so here you have to do mention your classes so the class name one by one you have to do mention so this is the suit already i created okay so just i'll show you here so this is a version of the xml test ng xml so in this this is a suit admin suit i created so this i going to perform as a parallel test execution that's why i use the keyword parallel equal to test so what exactly it is means so the test cases will execute parallel it means so inside the suit you have to do write the test okay so inside this suit you can do execute any number of the test as a parallel so that's why i given one test this is uh in this i'm going to execute as a sanity testing and at this test that is a login test so in this i'm going to execute as a login test case some i shown you here so inside the test you have to write the classes i said here no so inside the test, we have to do write the classes. So I mentioned here in the tags the classes, I have taken the class, the class name equal to in testng p package. I'm having one class login with testng. So this is the class I'm having here. So one more test, demo testng. This is a class I'm having here. So this is a 70 testing apart, and one more test login test. So in this, I'm having one more test with a data provider okay so here i'm having the data provider uh, on add category model this i written here and the features of test ng so sample i have uh, given the name if you want to give another name also you can give so add category or uh, like uh, add category the test name is add category name add category retesting you can say add category retesting you can say okay yes because here we use the data provider here you are getting multiple set of the test data on the same test case you can say it is retesting okay so this is the test case name so at the suit level also you can mention parallel at the test level also you can mention parallel okay so here the name inside this you can also use name as a browser if you want if you want to execute the same script with a browser you can execute if you want to execute the same script with the chrome you can execute if you want to execute the same script with a firefox also you can simply say here the name automatically the complete script will going go and run in the that particular browser what you mentioned so that comes under the uh, cross browser testing okay here i'm not going to test in the cross browser i'm showing how to perform parallel testing okay so at the 
methods we if you use the parallel at the test level you can mention methods because these two are considered as um, in these two classes you do have the at the rate test okay so in those oh, in the test and all the annotations or the methods only and those methods whatever the test cases you are having how many number of the test cases you are having in each class will execute parallelly okay so in this class if you have two test cases in this class if you have two test cases these two and these two execute parallelly okay at the same time these two execute parallelly okay that is the meaning of using the parallel equal to methods at the test and if you use the parallel equal to test at the suit level so this sanity testing and add category retesting or uh, retesting on add category better use in a good name retesting on add category okay retesting on add category okay so this uh, sanity testing and this retesting on add category both will execute parallelly this is the meaning of parallel it test so when you use the suit uh, suit level parallel equal to test these two will execute parallelly and inside the test also these two will also execute parallelly so what is the use of this using means this will save you a time no okay almost all the test cases will execute parallelly we, even if you are not using parallel equal to methods here now okay just uh, uh, how they execute means after executing this this will execute okay and uh, but you use it parallel equal to test means this sanity and this retesting on add category will execute parallelly but once one by one these execute sequence by sequence is executed but uh, what actually i'm going to tell you is how to execute parallel testing of with diff in diff in multiple browsers okay this you can simply do use for multiple uh, windows so that parallel testing on multiple windows in multiple windows simply you can uh, so whenever you created the test in xml you have to run from the file where exactly you are having so just here right click so run as test in suit okay just click here see all almost all windows are executing parallelly so almost many windows are just in opening and they are performing we are unable to even uh, see see almost four different windows are getting open and performing something something so add category this is a uh, data provider is actually providing the data to this add category so almost be the first uh, test case is executed and they were done only the data provider is still continuing of execution okay so we done with execution i think still it is running so at the background also some windows are running and they are also executing okay so it's done so execution is done so retesting on add category is done but some so some were failed so here 17 test cases passed and two got failed so zero was skipped so but almost at less time overall the how much time it has taken so let's have a look on deep understanding of this uh, results and so so results are running this is a test ng report so the there is a file there is a folder here so if you have a look on it just to take the properties and here you are having the html report so just uh, get it and hit here so just run it see here so almost uh, 19 methods okay 19 tests you are having so in that uh, passing methods are so many test cases delete codes is passed past uh, courses is passed login with invalid is passed login with valid is passed test case one two three 
almost many test cases were passed and this is uh, these are the test cases where you are having in demo test ng okay so here in the demo test ng what are the test cases we are having so test case one two three in features of test ng add course courses delete course so actually here i think i use the this executed four times means i use an invocation count for this method and that's why it executed four times so login with invalid and login with valid also passed these are we are having in features of test ng class okay here i use no features of test ng that is executed okay and next so so data provider so here pass 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 so all these are passed and i'm expecting the results also pass okay coming to your failed some test cases in data provider were failed because i am expecting they should fail and they failed so here also i am getting expecting fail and it's failed so it's no issue so what i expected as per that only to fail and 17 passed so and have a look on chronological view of execution see here demo test and features of test ng okay and they executed parallelly almost okay demo test ng features of test ng in this uh, before shoot before test executed and immediately inside features of test ng just before method executed and immediately login with the test ng before method executed immediately data provider on uh, add category before method executed okay so once they executed so uh, this is actually the chronological view how they executed okay so almost uh, every test case is uh, started of executing its a uh, script so that's why in most of the test uh, in most of the classes the methods were executed at least one annotation before method before method before method okay so uh, once it is uh, here before method executed no so here the login with valid is started executed and it's executed and where it's a uh, login with test ng next after method executed here it is executed so to execution of this some are executed and they were come and placed here to show the uh, execution results see so at last so this is the hierarchy so almost all executed parallelly okay so just uh, here you are having two tests so what one is the sanity testing so in this you mentioned two classes yes or no so here sanity testing so in this we are having two classes and another is retesting and add category in this also we are having two classes okay two classes so coming to groups so we are having different groups login group admin group and courses group so that is why we are having three groups here and that you can analyze the results as a best okay so this is actually the chronological view is talking more how actually the test panel tests were done okay yes so this is about the parallel testing with selenium on multiple windows of multiple browsers simultaneously thank you guys